New local teens right here, they are proving that you are never too young to try to make a difference in your community. ABC Action News reporter Wendy Lane introduces us to some high school students that are running for office. It's important to show that candidates are willing to listen to the opinions of students. Students just like Adam York, a junior at the Academy of Environmental Sciences at Crystal River High School. Students make up the biggest portion of the school county. It's 25 students for every one staff member or teacher of this county. York says that's why he's running for the Citrus County School Board seat in District 5. We need to show that the students are represented in this county and I will do the best I can for you guys. It's an 18 year old. It's something we haven't seen before. It's shocking. Another 18 year old, Nicholas Lahara, a senior at Lakanto High School, is also running for that same seat. I have been in Citrus County since kindergarten. Throughout the years, I've heard these teachers' concerns. My mom's a teacher, my dad's a new SRO, and just seeing that dynamic, hearing their concerns, I feel like I can get in there and create those solutions. But add the ages of the two 18-year-olds together, and that's not even the amount of years of professional experience the two candidates they're running against bring to the table. Tim Stewart is also running for the seat in District 5. He's a retired teacher and media specialist who has worked in the Citrus County School District for 37 years. And incumbent Linda Powers has held the seat for 14 years, has more than 30 years of experience in the district, and says that she always encouraged students to be involved in politics. Politics and being involved in government around us is how we shape society for the future. And that's what Adam York and Nicholas Lahara are hoping they'll get a chance to do. And reassess the situation and see how our policy is actually affecting the people in these classrooms. In Citrus County, Wendy Lane, ABC Action News.